speaking to you, Sarah, today you spoke to the mayor of Ferguson, James Knowles. What did he tell you? Well, we talked to him about many different things, um, and one of those things, of course, is this destruction that he's seen along two roads here uh, in Ferguson. His thoughts on what happened and who is at fault, who he sees um, is at fault for all this. One, he mentioned, of course, those who were the criminals who went in and broke up the city, at least the West Florissant and South Florissant. But he also talked about the responsibility of authorities, in particular the National Guard. I was assured, and our community was assured, that if it was getting out of control, if the National Guard was needed, at that point, you're beyond antagonizing. The, you know, the, the uh, destruction's already underway. There's no reason not to deploy them. I have no idea why they weren't deployed. That's frustrating. We also talked to him a little bit about what he saw on West Florissant because we are not able to get down to West Florissant. We're also touch, all right. So we've got fucker. some we've got don't some problems here. So you know what we've got. Wrong with you, man? You don't have a right to touch. We've someone. got someone who was trying to come you into our live shot and man? typically um, causing problems. Let me let me go ahead. You understand that? You guys, so we'll let the, it play out. These are the sorts of people that are coming out here, yeah. guys. So, we Sarah, is that... Um, are coming out here. The, most people are... Listen, most people are, are peaceful, but we've got guys like this coming out here causing problems, and these are the same folks that get in the face of police and curse at them, curse at the National Guard. Um, and, and for the residents here, some people get very frustrated with that mm -hmm. because they say, if you're going to be protesting, be peaceful, but don't, don't come out and create more problems for a town that is already going through so much. Let me let you listen to what the mayor said about what he saw in the daylight after Monday's destruction. You watch it on TV, you see the night, you know, you see the darkness, you see this fire burning, you really don't conceive of what that really is until you go there the next day and go, wow, you know, the landscape has just totally changed. And it's amazing because one of the things that I noticed was there didn't seem any rhyme or reason to what was destroyed or why. So you heard that there, you know, the mayor talking about when he was a child, when he was 10 years old, you know, taking his bike and going through some of these areas, just very frustrating for a lot of people. Don? Well handled, Sarah Seidner.